Just, Justin had a great question, yep. and, and uh, that is, it's a risk question. And he's saying, you know, like, well, if you're a landlord and and it, I get it, holding a note seems better. But if I hold a note and they go in default, they're not paying. It's 120 days delinquency, right? So, Justin, let me say this. A lot of people that talk about seller financing are doing what I call a substandard form of seller financing. Right. My passion, my footprint that I want to be credited for is I was for the good of smart seller financing. The guys that we're seller financing are putting significant down payments, call it 10 to 20 percent down. And these are people that because of the void in the credit market, they could have traditionally gotten a conventional mortgage or they're, or they're self-employed. And maybe because let me just tell you something, Fannie Mae is not real wild about financing somebody self-employed or somebody on commission today saying they're not real wild as in it's almost impossible. I don't want to say impossible, but it's getting close. It's getting there. Yes. And, and, and so understand Justin, that when you're, when you're, when you're, looking at delinquency, I'm saying lend to somebody that will pay you back. And the market has opened up a huge opportunity for people that need that gap filled. You are probably technically correct. If they go in default, then, then yes, you got to go through a foreclosure action, but the smarter you lend, the less you have to worry about that. Don't, don't start out with a loan to own scenario. Right. And once again, that may not relate to exactly how you're thinking, Justin, but you ask, like, this is what people are always worried about. Like, you know, like, what's the default situation? Well, the default situation, if underwritten and and sold to the right people is it's a low percentage shot. It's not it's not an impossible shot, but it's a low percentage shot. Great question there. Good question. Very good question. Yeah.